right so I didn't think I would record another one of these videos where I showcase something 3d but uh lo and behold that was a weird lag spike there but it was just running at 60 not too long ago yeah yeah it's, it's just OBS acting up uh, but yeah there's already a simple 3d uh, extension available which makes 3d a lot more plausible um, but all I could manage to do was cubes so there was still a reason for me to go ahead and make this which is just the um, the 3d stamp method that has been used for ages um, but instead of um, being a top-down perspective it's just um, a front facing so I can't rotate it to whatchamacallit I can't rotate it um, on the other axis so uh, I would have to like take like four separate models of the, the same character um, to have her face the different directions or if I wanted to get fancy um, the like the eight directions instead which would probably make it look a bit smoother and if you add in the um, the stretch extension um, you could probably get yourself some pretty cool looking uh, in-betweens and this is literally um, the entire script so it's not complicated at all just some uh, clever manipulation of um, the size and position of each of the stamps really and some basic math I'm sure someone can come up with an even better formula than this to hide this um, hide the holes here but as long as it looks kind of 3d I don't really care uh, I'm just going to lower the resolution on it even more so everything just becomes the uh, I'm probably just gonna give it the uh, the SNES resolution and uh, things will look a-okay uh, but yeah uh, this will be for like a golf game I'm working on so I was thinking of using Unreal or something but I couldn't find any like webcam capabilities that were uh, simple to use like the one in Scratch and same same goes for Unity uh, so yeah just going sticking to my guns here uh, but yeah uh, hopefully uh, this is to the use of someone and then I'm gonna provide a link to the voxelization method I used in the description below so all you have to do uh, would be to follow the tutorial uh, in the description below and then go go ahead and then utilize this script here it's just this if you take a screenshot or whatever that's literally it uh oh <laughs> that's literally it uh, there's nothing else to it there's that's the entire thing and then this right here is just to make it widescreen uh, but yeah